Good evening everyone. I don't know why, but this soundtrack is amazing from this game and I really really am sad that it's not coming together with the game on GOG and um, welcome and good evening everyone again today. Hello. Um, apparently me and Video Game Carnage are actually just taking over this week completely. It's already, uh, let's see, today Carnage kind of did not stream on GOG, but he streamed on his channel for six bloody hours. And I think he, get, he is getting the jaw disease of uh, long streaming. <laughs> but yes, and we will uh, see him tomorrow, hear him tomorrow, uh, and me uh, too. So we'll do a co-op stream uh so yeah i'm doing like four days in a row again five days in a row from sunday again so that is what happens when outstar is off uh but as far as i see she's having fun in belgium in her um, indie game developer uh gathering and yeah i wish her all the luck with her new huge step so Good evening chat, thank you EA and Parenjade for this uh, adventure in the uh, in the previous stream that looked very very interesting and uh, really I love you guys uh, in duel, uh, you really create a, a very awesome content, really, I, I really like that. And thanks Ivy Games for, for joining us of course. Mm, we I hope I hope you enjoyed uh, two hours here and and people gave you uh, interesting questions a nice question and that's really really an interesting concept of the game so chat uh, Mr. Kupfer Drache second good evening Rothkin uh, who was thanking the A Dark Daedalus of course that's Kana Alphadors the Pudding Hovenail James Crypto, aha, uh, Atrushu, Inquisitor, uh, Sanghaley112, good evening everyone, I'm continuing Unmechanical, I really adore this game, I really adore this little robot that I'm seeing in front of me, and yes, I really really want, I, I waited for this opportunity to actually stream this for the second time, I did not play, I have no idea what will happen up front. So we just finished, like Memories in 8-bit said, we finished around 50% of the game. And I really, really am excited to see what, what will happen uh, in in the future, yeah, in, in upcoming upcoming um, puzzles. Uh, yes, Grivix, hello. Who else is in chat? Everyone is in chat. And uh, thank you, Andil, for following after just after the uh, end of the previous stream. So, uh, where is my mouse? Here is my mouse. I will resume here. So, for those who don't know about mechanic, unmechanical, unmechanical, yes. This is a puzzle game, and we are this little robot thing, and it's really, really nice. So we are in this world which is made from steel rock and flesh by the way because uh, in previous part we were collecting these light orbs for this giant heart and it was like a real human giant heart and that's a very I don't know why we will see maybe we will finish the game today uh, basically because I, there is no one streaming after me uh, Probably I will go over two hours just to complete the game if that's that's um, uh, not the problem. Hello, video game carnage, you bloody maniac, streaming for six plus hours in the in the row. But you were exhausted. I heard the ending of your stream and you were exhausted, and I couldn't wait. And I bought that bloody game, and it's amazing. It looks amazing. Uh, for those who don't know, he was uh, streaming Mad Max, uh, and yes, that was very... Um, I'm amazed. I'm really amazed. I hope Just Cause 3 will be as awesome as Mad Max is, really. 
mm, even more, even more. So, yes, Labs Vakars uh, Raivo 9N, Labas Vakars uh, Žmonėmskas yra iš uh, Lietuvos. Yes, oh my god, I just said that with a, such a bad accent. <laughs> Oof. My god, it, it has been a while I was talking in Lithuanian, so, so that might be a problem. Okay, so... This game is very atmospheric. Uh, this game is very... Sucking in with its soundtrack and with the things you are actually are doing. And the controls are very simple. You just have this um, power to lift things with your beam from from below the, ro below ro the robot, and that's it. And you're just flying it with directional keys. And I'm playing it with an Xbox uh, 360 controller just because it's kind of a bit more. Mm, nicer to do. So, probably I will not be talking a lot, just because I really, really love the sound of this game. Um, go for six hours. No, Alphador, not today. <laughs> there will be a time when I will do this. I'm not yet ready. I'm just not yet ready. I know I can play for a very, very long time. I don't know if I can speak for a very long time. Yes, so so let's get in. This is kind of from the middle of the game, I hope, as, as, as I already said. Um, if you have any questions uh, for me or about this game, just uh, write Tony's, Tony's Plays or Gokom. I have all of three things highlighting to me. So, yeah, I will see that. Just do it. I have the submarine upgrade with the extra light. Oh, yes, I did. I... Um... Yes. What, the extra light? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got the upgrade, which is basically allows you to... Um, what the hell is this? Which allows you to um, fly underwater. Beats. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Ah, understood. Okay. So what? Two shallows? No. This. Yes. One beat. Okay. 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 Yeah. Do that more. Holy shit! Now I should remember this. Holy cow! Yes. And mechanical beatboxing and hello Sherry and Red Red Hake. Wait, wait. Okay. Okay, the, the last two are both. This is easy to remember. The first one is also both. Uh. 
I have a terrible memory, by the way, and these puzzles sometimes are really a trouble for me. Was it like eight? It was seven? Hmm. How the hell did I do what I did? Uh, sure. So these are the buttons, and they're basically are being pressed up there, and I just flying. So. There, there are no really some serious or, or interesting controls, you just uh, press the buttons and in the bottom I just uh, hold this like A key for example and you have this power with basically any button and you're just lifting this thing. This is not a bad puzzle. I really like the puzzles in this game. It's it's really they are very they're very minimalistic and at the same time they're very smart and what I did my last stream and it is in uh, in the VOD of the Twitch, I think. Also, it's on my YouTube channel. See that this is existing here. Okay. So previous, yeah, previous one uh, existed on my YouTube channel, and I really s was stuck in such a simple puzzles, just because I was overthinking and thinking, oh my god, this has to be something very serious. And there was one puzzle where I just had to dump everything into into the water just to raise its level. And I was thinking, okay, I have this metal bar, I can somehow connect it with the water and make it um, touching both wires, and it didn't work. So I was like thinking much more, um, much more uh, serious than it was actually. Create some, some interesting beat. Let's do that. Let us do some interesting beat. Ouch. actually create some 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 interesting samples from this um, yeah I didn't forget the light right yes this one I just came back just because Ooh. so I'm turning the lights on and the electricity in the background like in this place kind of seems to be draining but Now what? Open the open the door. I don't want to open the door. What? Why? 
Why? What the hell? Okay, so this one passes the energy down there. But... Hmm. I want the door open. Hello? Somebody, please let, let me in. Oh, this is just passing the energy there. Am I missing a button or what? No, there are all the buttons here. There's nothing in, in this side. There's definitely anything in there. No, this is also closed. What? Energy has to be in the middle. Hmm. No, this is the middle. Oh, because these are the. These are the light bulb sizes. Oh. So, what this game does, it makes this zing sound and. Uh, Okay, and then you actually know whether um, you've done a correct thing or not. Okay, okay. Let me just get into this uh, puzzle mood. Okay, so energy in the middle. So we have the different... Uh... Wow, this didn't drain like anything. So I have different sized light bulbs. Oops. <laughs> this is a miniature one. Ah, so this one required everything. Okay. Ooh, PCB plates. Oh, hello. Hey! Where did you go? <laughs> Open the door for me, man. Why are you doing this to me? You're always running for me. What the hell? Wow, you're a meanie. You're such a meanie. Okay, so what do we have to do here? I cannot lift these. Can I? change
This is the new one. Why are they changing? Two. Three. One here. Oh, well, I, I don't see. Nothing happened. Nope, nothing happened. So they are kind of. It seems that they're pushed. Like two, three, one, four, five. Hmm. Okay, let's reset it. Five, four, one, five, three, two. Okay, so if I put two into the two slot, what happens? The two moves by two. If I put the five to the one slot, the five stays in here. Hmm. Yes, I need to sort all the horizontal bars that are present, but they're like. Three here, two here, three here, two here, and two here. Uh, hmm, no. Memories in 8-bit told me to be careful about this puzzle, and I actually forgot about this. Ha. Huh. Um, it kind of wraps around, but wait. If I put it here, it doesn't move. If I put it here, it moves by two. So, okay, we have a box with number one. Number one is in the last slot. So if I move it by three... Something is okay. This is interesting. Wait. Five. So we have four, and we need four actually to be moved to the four slots. Can we do like this? No, it moved by one. Two, three. I don't need that. Okay, so it actually stayed. Backwards. Oh, okay, okay. I'm adding the value to what's already there, and I have to make it as five. Okay, let's do that. Let's try this. Then it makes a problem of where to put the five. Where do I put the five? Here? I can't put it here. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I have five, four, 
3 to 1. 5 to 1. I can add this. Adds the same amount to everything? Why? Okay, I really need to... <laughs> I really need to write this down because... Uh, this will be... I, I'm getting lost all the time. Okay, let's uh, let's reset this. So we have. Let's write it down. We have five, two, three, one, and four. So if I add two. Let's say five. Okay. If I just add it to two. What I get is seven or five. Three and six. And I think I have to actually redistribute them. Ooh. But still, it doesn't make uh, a lot of sense where I put them. Okay, let's put. Uh, or here so I added four here so now I have ten seven nine eight and eleven so it doesn't matter where you actually put the stuff. But then... Thank you for energy. Um, the girl says, I honestly think you just need to place the boxes where the TV is originally shown. Uh, I'm getting thrown off by adding numbers. Okay. Let's... Uh, uh, let us try that. So let me just write it. This is one, four, two, Three and five. Mm -hmm. Okay. One goes to one. And five goes to the last one. Don't screw it up. Then two goes to the middle one. And three goes to the number four. And four goes to the number two. Hmm. 
Nope. That is not the way. Mm -hmm. Oh no! So I have to. I think I have to achieve the same amount of. That doesn't make sense. If I have to achieve the same amount of number, why do I have to add stuff in there? No bloody way this worked actually. <laughs> oh god. Well, thank you, the gross. That was. Yeah. Jesus. See, this is what I mean. It's like. Again, I overcomplicated things. It was just a very simple. It shows the order where to put, but it's offset because you are putting things in there. Sheesh! Now probably I cannot do anything with this. Let us move on into this mystery. There are some things in the background. And this is the title music I have played. Ooh, something. Ooh, these are moving. Yeesh, that is very scary. What is that item doing there? is according to the plan. Oh. Oh my god, it's so much action. We're being pushed. Oh no, I missed that. looking in this direction. It's not needed. Oh, come on. I really love how this game looks. It's amazing. Oh, what is that? the musketeer <laughs> oh let me let me pass <laughs> Yeesh. the air ventilation in this one is is incredibly strange hello square I'm a robot how are you doing give me a hug hug me now okay I will do that. <laughs> wow. I so want to actually like go deep into this facility where it is in the background. There's so many so many nice things in there. No, I'm being taken away. 
Hello, Evil Line. It goes okay. It was okay. I have some problems, but. Thank you, Galaxy. I don't know where I'm going right now. There's an exit, something there. Something there. Hmm. Okay, this is closed. Hmm, the soundtrack, oh my. Uh, oh, oh my god, this one's heavy. Momentum. Oh, we are here. Okay. Now companion box will be incinerated because you left it, you monster. I know, I'm sorry. Is this 3D? It should be 3D. Ooh. If anyone has 3D glasses, you can put them on and check it. It's like the cyan and red color. doing to these poor robots and the boxes also and the red one no this game is cruel I'm sorry this game is very very cruel This just opened one door. Is that the button? Ooh, a hidden button. Ow. So this is op this opens the stuff, but oh, I can get in there somehow or not. Ah. Oop. Damn, we're through. We're through. Don't get a T, this is unmechanical. Why is this opening only in half? Come on. Whoa. My friends' robots are in here. Should I actually pass light in somehow? In... Oh no, I can't. So does that mean that I actually missed? I hope not. This looks amazing. I don't know how about you. I think this looks amazing. I know that there are robot friends in there, those light sources. But still it looks 
Very, very nice. Ooh. So this is basically like the red stuff is the flesh. And yeah, you see the rock, the flesh and the... I know I missed that button, but uh, I want to check out what's around. Of steel on flesh and rock. This is a game of steel on flesh and rock. Hmm. What's up with this facility? It's like everything is half open. Go down. Mm. Oh, this is closed. Okay. Sorry, did not see that. Uh oh. Holy cow, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, hey mate. Ah, I'm just being sucked out of there. Yeah, yeah you hold that. Roof bastard, it didn't help me. I will not help you. No sex mechanical revolution, yes. So, we are a submarine robot, but I want to see what's up in here. Oh, here's something. Hello. Just actually open this for me. This game has an outside. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. That looks very, very nice. Oh, uh, I would love developers to, to create something something similar, like to explore all of this all of this place that they have. Wow, this is this is nice. This is Pybots on a sabotage mission. Says that's kind of yeah, it probably is. <laughs> the grosses. All I can say that this game was not made in the US nor UK based on the power plugs. <laughs> yes, because there is only one one and only kind of power plugs. No, I'm I'm not fitting here. Damn. We are inside something. I'm. I really want to know where are we in and what the hell is happening. Oh, look, more plugs. A battery. Did I burn the battery? Or not? Maybe not yet. Wait. Nothing happens here. Mm, I don't see any other place that I can actually put that to, so... In you go! That didn't do anything. Hmm. Do 
do I need something else? Right now we will just do exploring actually because it seems like some kind of a new area and... Oh... Oh, there is something downstairs. That's the battery. Okay, so this is the exit. From this part of the, of the level at least. Mm. Oh, maybe I can actually put it to the way. I lost the battery. No. Oh my god. Did that really actually happen? I am Delvino. That is that is very very correct description because it really is it really is amazing. Ah, there it is. I I really kind of I wouldn't say that I overlooked this game, but kind of never popped out to me in, in general, just to play it, and I'm really amazed how great it is. I am really amazed and I really love it. No? Still no. What the hell do you want then? I am confused. This does nothing, this does nothing also. There's nothing inside. What? Uh, that was... Uh, Total Biscuit was supposed to be streaming today, but he has... Like, there is some connectivity issues with his issues, as he says. Um, with his internet provider and basically like the whole area has problems in there so he couldn't stream um, yeah but instead we had two our wonderful streamers uh, Mega Pyman and Playos Mega Pyman was sick so that was not fun uh, I don't know what to do here to be honest so I'm just flying to a different area And Fleos, so Mega Pyman played some Blood, and Fleos played um, Indiana Jones, The Fate of Atlantis. He was just looking for an excuse to play that. Uh, okay, so maybe I'll figure out what's what to do there in a later time. Right now we can go underwater. Ooh, what is this? It's a light. That's it? Fishy, fishy. No, I can't do anything here, but... Why is this thing here? There's just this it that that's just, just for that. Oh, that's not cool. So where the bloody hell I have to put that battery into? Ish. Maybe 
maybe I put the battery in the wrong way then into this uh, into this thing. There's like nothing working in here and could be some kind of slot to insert it to. Even like that I don't see it. Did I miss something downstairs here? No, there's ground, 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 ground. Some rotating stuff in here and that's it. And then the... Oh, wait a minute. I can let... Oh! Because this battery is red. Okay, finally. Oh, that came to me. All in the details. Let's fetch that battery. So, why the hell then this one? Hmm. Oh, evil lime! Come on. <laughs> now I'm playing this for the for the first time. I have never ever tried this, so that might be a little bit difficult. Come on. Can I actually lift this? Whoa, that's one heavy piece of metal. Tell me I will have to like lift both of them. doesn't want to move at all. I just actually ruined the level because... This doesn't want to move and I cannot fit in there at all. Ah! Bloody hell! Um, Galat T asks, doesn't it make more sense to announce what game the release streams are of uh, for hype and such? Mm, no, because not every time 
the publishers are actually wanting to disclose that. And you no, know, sometimes uh, things happen that. No, I think I just messed up this. Sometimes hap it happens that releases are not coming out just because, you know, developers and their schedule, which kind of. This thing is stuck basically, and I cannot move it out of the way in any any way. No, don't tell me I will actually have to, like, because I cannot fit there. Hmm. This doesn't make sense. No, I cannot. So, probably I had to move this top thing like a little bit to the side and then move the other thing the bottom thing to slide and now i'm kind of stuck hmm. because this thing is stuck Damn it. Hey, Ramnoki. Ramnokri. Nope, it doesn't want to move at all. Hmm. Can I skip the level? Hmm. I have no idea. That is very... Mm, that is very, very uh, bad, actually. Mm, because I have no idea how to lift this. If this is a bug, I don't know how to actually... Um, Reset it, which is no very sad. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, it's kinda, thanks for joining. Okay, I have no idea how to reset this, which is very, very bad. Uh, yeah, I have to slide the lower one, but the problem is that the top one is actually stuck. And I really cannot resume, resume this. Uh, me, but no, it, it just... I 
cannot move it anyway because it, it is actually stuck on some some part which is not good like on this crazy art so I have to move the lower one but I can't move it just because it's too heavy or it is stuck so now this is a very interesting question how do I reset this level hmm. can I somehow no this is the option then I have just resume game Okay, I can reload it from the main menu, but I think it actually just saves it in that state. And everything around it. <gasps> oh, okay. Thank God. Oof, sorry for that. That battery is placed in a very interesting way. Oh. This thing is so heavy. Oh, is it? Okay. Okay. Cool. So, I owe you people a raffle for watching me being stuck for a while. Splendid. Splendid. Thank you very much. Everything, <laughs> not the one. Sorry for that, man. Sorry for that. I was just really stuck. Okay, so, um, you know what? Let me, let me just start the raffle really quickly. Let us uh, reset this. Yes, reset the raffle, open the raffle. And type exclamation mark raffle if you want to get a 999 code for GOG and this game is costing also 999 so yep uh, if you want to get a piece of that just type exclamation mark raffle and I will just slowly move on to the other place so we have been here what else is there to find out we came from here Wasn't there something back? Oh, this is closed. Okay. So yeah, you guys who are watching and uh, not following up the chat or something like that, just uh, join in, type exclamation mark, raffle. And you might win a 999 code for GOG.com in this game. Oh, so I had to come back. Okay, okay. Yeah, and good luck, everyone. Uh, Movement is really crazy in, in the last days. It does whatever it wants all the time. What do I do with you?
Here. Where do you go, man? Oops. Sorry. saving him he was an ass but I'm saving him actually there is still time to type exclamation mark raffle little bit more time little bit more time especially Sharon <laughs> oh Herxena welcome from the dead um okay and I am 3 to 1, I'm closing the raffle. Uh, get her meat. <laughs> I will throw him in that furnace because he was very, very mean for me. My stream is lagging so much. Anyways, I am closing the raffle. I'm drawing the winner, which is Kenjara66. So, congratulations very much. I will announce you in the chat. So, please uh, let us know that you are in here. Say something like thank you or something like that. That would be very, very nice. And... Um, yeah, I will I will then send you the code. He just entered the raffle, but he's gone. She? I don't know. Ah, there you are. Cool. So I'm sending the code. Um check your Twitch's other box because that might be in there. Uh because the winner of the yesterday's um raffle, who is uh the Moncrief, if you will see him anywhere, please tell him to check his other inbox because I think he kind of didn't understand how how he should uh, how he should do that. I think I really should. Okay, let's no, but. Ah, screw that. Let's throw him in the furnace. He's a mean. He's a meanie. In you go. No, why I was locked. Are you bloody kidding me? <laughs> no, I didn't want to... No! <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen! What the hell? Okay, this, this is, uh, did I, 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 okay, let's do this in, in the other way, because, so yes, he saved my life, 
you know, but he was blocking me all the time, which was kind of evil, you know, and uh, so I became him and and so what? That's an evil ending. That's seriously an evil ending, Dark Daedalus. That's strange. Yeah, so... Damn. I will use that scanner. That's seriously, I, I, I don't like this ending. I do not like this ending at all. I want to use the scanner and I want to go, I don't know, somewhere else? Do one more puzzle? Or are we ending the stream early to today? Because I don't have any other game prepared. Actually, which is... Uh, oh, come on! Come on, man. No light side jingles for me. Oh, Hey, my DJ. Just missed the raffle. And we're kind of ending the game the second time. <laughs> so it wasn't like the 50% as I thought. It's, it's just, it was like almost, almost the end. Nice. Now I'm thinking about any other puzzle game that I actually have right now to kind of show it off. Okay, let's not do this mistake again and throw him here. Ah, there we go. So, this will be the good ending? Should I do it very slowly just to compensate for the lack of stream time? <laughs> We're moving up very slowly. Very slowly. That's probably because this is the end of the game, we already saw the credits. Just uh, more hacknet. Uh, I kind of finished the hacknet, and but I have uplink. I can I can I can show uplink uh, because hacknet is like there is a couple of missions from there where oh Python uh, three uh, thank you for following and thank you for following GOG and thank you for joining this wonderful and crazy bunch of people you did good man you did good so oh man I triggered this. Arrgh. So this is the good end. Okay. Without any sound. Quiet. Hmm. Witcher 3 with New Game Plus. <laughs> Not today. Oh, we can do Infinity Factory. Yes, yes. Let's do Infinity Factory because I I ended that in 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 the middle, and I actually did not play that for anymore. But that is that is so brain teasing. That oh my god. Um. Okay, but this game. It's awesome. I really recommend you playing this, just for music and and really nice puzzles. And it's stuck. It's really nice. It's done. It has very amazing visuals. It has very nice atmospheric puzzle. It has interesting puzzles which are very simple yet very challenging just to try to think in a simple way. And uh, I, I really enjoyed playing this. I really enjoyed playing this. 
Uh, so I got both of the endings memories in a bit, and yeah, I kind of expected it to be a bit longer actually. Um, but it it's it's very nice. I I really really enjoy that. It it kind of required an hour and a half. Plus, just maybe an hour actually, because I was stuck again in two parts of the puzzles. <laughs> um, yes, but Evil Lion tricked me to do the evil ending. Okay, so, so in total this game is like about three hours or so. Uh, maybe a bit more if you will be stuck on some puzzles, right? And if you would like enjoy it, you can play it for four hours, but but it's really really nice, and I think they have this game in for mobile platforms also. So you can get it there, you know, when you're flying somewhere. Uh, you can really, you can really really um, enjoy this game again, just to go through all the puzzles. Okay, so. You want to do Infinity Factory? Okay, let's let's do some of the Infinity Factory then. Uh, yeah, I enjoy this very much. This is very, very, very nice. So let me just quickly set it up if I can, and I will try to solve some Infinity Factories puzzles in half an hour. It's also ported to consoles by Grip Games. Awesome. Very nice. Okay, let me quickly add this. Game capture. Infinity Factory. Full screen. Get to the bottom of this. Yeah, here we are. I have no idea how I will fare in this. So, from the last time, we are. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Infinity Factory is also a puzzle game where you actually. I subdivider followed. Thank you very much, and welcome to our crazy GOG family. How about you? Uh, let me just turn off Moobot on my um, stream place. Right, uh, so we are adopted by aliens uh, and we eating food pallets. I have won two prizes, one is armpits of iron and a trophy of kangaroo kickers 09. I had fun, I won. <laughs> and to show off just in a very little... Um, time what kind of puzzles are these it's like this is by creators of uh, uh, the latest game for them is TIS 100 which is uh, Night Evil Lime thank you for joining which is a programming game when you actually are writing just an assembly code kind of an assembly code and in this one you have an input block and you have to create some kind of output so in this case I have to create two kinds of output one is mel um, welded together from two blocks and the other one is melded together from three blocks if I run this program it will provide me some blocks and then try to create this uh, this stuff so you have to create a contraption in which you actually make those blocks. Uh, I should change Moobot, but since it's for half an hour, it's it's really not not necessary. How you are actually measured is by mm, the simple stats in cycles, footprint, and blocks, and it's actually the same statistics which are used in TIS 100 which is a hard game to stream 
this 100 is a very hard game to stream and I know Christy X4 tried and yeah it, it wasn't it wasn't very easy I think Outstar wanted to try this but it wasn't just it, she, she couldn't achieve it or she couldn't enjoy, enjoy that so much mm. people who bought Unmechanical also bought those X Invisible War come on this is the game <laughs> Infinity Factory was made by <laughs> let me just uh... I can check it quickly also I don't GOG game Infinity Factory no, I just mistyped that this is by Zachtronics Yes, by Zactronics and yeah, Space Ham. How could I forget? Space Ham. They made Space Ham, then they made Infinity Factory, and then they made this 100, which they also have Ironclad Tactics, which is a completely different game. Uh, yeah, thanks, Ariel. Cool, so I wonder which puzzle I should take. Let's try this one. Oh no, this one's... These are very hard puzzles, and... Maybe I can do the, the different one? The landing, alim landing alignment lights, that will be enough for today. Um, okay, so Infinity Factory has a bit of a story, how you... why you were uh, why were you uh, abducted by aliens and what the hell to do and there's it's done by these uh, logs which are scattered throughout the levels not in all the levels you will find them but in some they are Floyd here with a few pieces of advice firstly stop thinking you're some sort of victim as my dad would say you can be a victim or a survivor he was a war vet and hard as nails. We're not the only ones they've abducted. Now, I've seen at least two other alien species. This whole situation, uh, well, it's nothing like the TV shows. It's all much more mundane. Second thing, don't try to fight them. I've seen others freak out and get themselves killed. I've seen people try to sabotage things. I tried that too for a while. <laughs> when they hit me with that cattle prod, I uh, <laughs> I learned my lesson. It, it's not worth it. Think about it. Here you are, out in the middle of space. You need them far more than they need you right now. If you're like me and have a sense of self-preservation, you'll do what they tell you. Even if you don't understand what they're saying. So, make yourself useful. It'll make your life much easier. Yeah, so you're kind of work you are working for aliens because you're smart actually. And you're solving their puzzles and building their stuff in in this uh, in this kind of kind of way. So I have to make I have this one blue and red thingy coming out and I have to make a row of four from them. Which will be oh my god so hard okay so I know that I can re oh damn it what else I have uh, different types of blocks which is a platform which is a conveyor a rotator to left and right sides a welder which I will need to use to weld stuff and some sensors which are triggering uh, the pushers push blocks around there are still some some blocks unlocked locked which I don't know uh, which I will have to see sometime later so I have to think how to how to do this I 
need to rotate these around. Okay, so maybe I can create some kind of conveyor belt down there. Down there and... Uh, to create an inventor in inverted stuff. Pudding says, so it's kind of like a Lithuanian working for the Polish selling their stuff, sometimes live on stream. Kind of. Yes. <laughs> if you would... Yeah. You would consider everything that is in this game, probably. Ah, oh, that's harsh, that's harsh. down on this can be pushed Trigger the pusher actually to go in here. So it's being maybe even higher. This drops. This drops here. I can create a pusher here. When it detects... Uh, okay, when it detects, detects a block... Actually, we can actually push it. Oops, this is not needed. This will work like this. Damn, it's being pushed. Damn, it's being pushed. If I can rotate somehow these blocks in the different manners, this is really a brain brain killer. Like it seriously, seriously is a brain killer. Uh, what I have to consult my previous uh, puzzle, to be honest just to check how it works, because it's done in a very terrible way. Oh, by the way, there's that, that guy I was talking about. Uh, how the hell did I do that? Let me see... All did this three stuff together. Touched it to the side and then pushed it off. Oh, okay, okay. Let me see. Uh, 
I, I did not check the actual actual solution. <laughs> um, right, you're being triggered. You're being triggered here. Ah, so blocks are being blocked by the pushers. Sheesh. Right. I wonder if we can stack those blocks into different uh, into different locations let me check it like this uh, no let's leave it like this just ignore that if we create damn it strong button if we would create this thing here mm, and attach a sensor from oh this is from the side from the top will it work Okay, so this can be pushed like this. I would create one more sensor in here. And create a pusher here. So we can't alternate in this. Now I can rotate the first one. Now I can actually grab him by the side and then drive him around and push this forward all the time. Okay. Let's try this. Let's try this. I need a rotator to this side. here and this will pull back oh oh what this this went wrong 
but this can be easily fixed by using this stuff. creating some blocks so I don't need the bottom ones let's see if we can pull this off oh, this is not a good block so okay something good happened something good happened this is very nice I think we should replace this one with the maybe not here even actually here so it should start moving these blocks forward so we can basically create a gap just because okay this is very nice very nice I know I'm building this very very inefficiently but this is the game like where you have to build stuff inefficiently Yes, I did it! Awesome. This is just awesome. So, what I need now here is blocks of four. And I need a bunch of welders. So, okay, let's create some platform. Like this. Right, it's 4 and 4, yes. It's 4 and 4, and afterwards we just need... Oh, no, it's not in this direction. It's in... direction like this like this there I wonder if it works Oh, I will have to rotate this actually. Perfect, perfect, just uh, a wee bit longer. Like this. And I think we will be Awesome way. Let us fast forward this. And did we get this? Oh man, I just clicked the wrong button. Fast forward. The chat went so quiet. I did... Oh... Wait... Why? Okay... How many of you played the... So... Oh... Okay... That's the reason... Kind of queued up... How many of you played this? And how how long uh, 
how many levels did you actually complete in there? So this one's goes this one goes off good. Ah okay, let's let us make a slower input rate, which will make blocks coming in um, much slower and it will not queue up that fast. Which is uh, needed for us. Yes, now it should go correctly. Yes, one is in, two is in. Yay! <laughs> we just nailed this. Awesome. Awesome. And I took only 20 minutes for this level. Okay, half an hour. Unfortunately, the cycle score is incredibly high. And the cycle score is just how much... Uh, how much actions you're doing in the... Uh, in the... Program itself. Let's call it program, right? And footprint is the area of... Uh, this area that you have covered in building your contraption and the block score is just how many blocks you have used so in cycles it's insanely big but you can optimize this all the time uh, it is intimidating I agree we can do a performance review let's do that I want to see what happens these are our, our aliens by the way Listen to them. I got a Floyd hat. Awesome. I didn't know I can pass this. And food. Yay. Yay. No, 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 no. Okay, time to work. I can get to the production zone too. Oh my god, that is amazing. Epispen says this looks stressful. It's Yeah, it's it's kind of uh, not Domo what not Domo said. It's kind of a programming simulator. Mm, you have to uh, you know basically yes, it's you have to write the program. I didn't play Space Ham, so I don't know what, what that is. I tried this one hundred and that is like the rawest game that you can actually have. Uh, does God give you a... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Terminal... Okay, so this is the puzzle terminal display reclamation. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, I like where we are. I don't like what I see, but... I have to cre what? I have to create a broken terminal? Oh no, I have to disassemble it into one little screen. Wow. So this is getting interesting because you are right now just uh, kind of limited in uh, this little area and you have so we have a drill a viscerator so we need to eviscerate everything except for Except for this one monitor. Okay, let's try this. Um. This looks pretty easy. 
can leave this one monitor actually and that will be sufficient, I think. No need any of this stuff. You can basically just deliver the deliver it straight here. Oh wait, it fell down. Okay, so let's do it into a different place. Hmm, I have to move everything a bit back. Create a broken thermal so that the buyer would need to pay again for her services eventually. <laughs> yes, you put yes. But that's an amazing strategy. This game like shows that you now those aliens are really really without any mind. And just because <laughs> you have this huge thermal, of course this thermal is stolen from some kind of the city. Right? And wow, we just cool. That's amazing. Shuttle maintenance. Oh my god, I don't want to see that. <laughs> New tutorials. Ah, how to how to use actual block wall. Oh, this is a shuttle. So, wow. So we have to... Oh, there's a dead guy in there. Well, that was a pain in the ass. Let's run it again and see what happens. Oh, what the hell? One of the inputs must be jammed. This is bloody ridiculous. Must be British. I don't see anything. Uh, oh, maybe it's a bit farther back. Oh, wait. Was I even pushing the right button? Ah! <laughs> oh, no. Wow, he had... Not such a good luck. Sheesh, this will be... This will be a bunch of the thoughts how I must create this. But nevertheless, I showed you a little bit of Infinity Factory. I will not break my bread again tonight. I just can't. This game is like, you know, two puzzles and then it needs time to think. It really needs time. For me as a developer, I need time to think how to solve the puzzles and just, you know, it's not very interesting on the stream because you just, mm, you're always trying to... A versus Mike. Unfortunately, we're finishing up, so I'm, I'm really, really sorry for that. Uh, and this is Infin Infinite Factory instead of Unmechanical because I think like Unmechanical ended like 40 minutes ago so I had to just find a quick replacement for the game. Um, yes, so... 
video game carnage says spoiler Donis and I will be playing Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. <laughs> no no bloody way. No bloody mate. No bloody way, mate. Is that the dude barrel drinking simulator situation in the bar called Freddy's? That's very precise. <laughs> no one will take an advantage of me. I I am living in Poland people. To outdrink me, currently, my handling is just you have to be a bloody Russian to do that. Because they drink much more than Polish do. <laughs> yes, so uh sorry for premature ending of uh, unmechanical game. I really didn't expect that it would be so soon but um, I really enjoyed that game that was that was tons of fun I like this game it's it's more when you need a very good brain practice and what this actually requires you to do is to experiment much more and I think sorry for that different people will find different solutions to this game much e easier than I am um, so yeah, this was Infinite Factory previously, it was Unmechanical, definitely buy Unmechanical and try it yourselves if you like those kinds of games. Mm, try Infinite Factory if you like to a good brain tease and uh, actually all the games from uh, Electronics are, are really good brain teases and I actually love them and I probably will play Infinite Factory Sometime later, it is on my list, but I still have to prepare for that. So, I will join you tomorrow with uh, Video Game Carnage uh, for uh, some new release game. I really, really hope that will happen and that we will get uh, a build to try. Yes, and thank you very much for joining me. We will be tomorrow at... At 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 uh, 4 p.m. GMT or 6 p.m. CEST or uh, 5 p.m. BST or 1 1 p.m. EDT or whatever times I don't know there's so many so many time zones so looking forward to my 100 I don't think I will do that seriously that game is too hardcore for me. <laughs> So, thank you very much for, for joining me tonight, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow, thank you for a couple of people who follow Joji's channel, please do that if you are not done yet, and if you are not following, we are doing tons and tons and tons of fun stuff in here, and there are more changes in coming in the upcoming month. Um, I will use this occasion also to say that I am going on vacation from Friday and I will probably be back on stream after no more two streams because I will also have to move uh, to Santeria's place. So yeah, tomorrow will be my last stream before all of this big ruckus and probably next time you will see me is already from a different location. So... Yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it tonight and I will see you tomorrow and please be there. Good night.